He's the total package on the football field. We're so thankful to have you here um, hanging out with us. I know you said you're in Atlanta right now as you get ready for the NFL draft. And first and foremost, I just want to ask you how you and your family and loved ones are doing uh, during this uh, pandemic that we're facing right now. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for having me. Um, you know, we've been doing well. Uh, you know, we've, we've been trying to take as much precaution as we have, um, you know, with all this virus stuff going on. So um, we, I'm just making sure for me, uh, you know, because I still had to work out and stuff like that, that, you know, I make sure to take sanitizer with me and, and do all the things of, of precaution that I need to take. So, um, you know, we've been doing well and we're just trying to make sure that we stay as healthy as possible in this in this virus. Yeah, absolutely. And so take me through what those workouts look like. Where are you working out at? And are you working out just like you and your trainer? Um, just take me yeah. through that a little bit. Yeah, so uh, it's actually me me and my trainer, um, the the one, the same one that was from, you know, back back at in high school that I trained with. Um, and right now it's just me, him, and AJ, uh, AJ Terrell. So uh, it's us two. And then we got a, a couple other people. But uh, we typically try to make it as small as it can be, um, just with all the kind of the rules that they got out there. So um, I would say it's probably about six people um, there, six or seven people. So uh, we usually do it at like a local field in, in Atlanta. So uh, we try to do that, uh, I'd probably say um, probably about four times a week. Um, but we try to get get working as much as we can, whether it's raining or sunny or, or however the, the, the weather is. But um, you know, that's been pretty fun, just kind of getting out there and competing with those guys and, and just having fun just because with all this going around, that's that's the only thing you really can do without without having to shoot out too much. Yeah, and I know, uh, you know, we've, we've been talking to you here for the last week or so, and you, you've said you've been extremely busy. I can imagine it's a time where you've just got so many obligations and things you've got to kind of focus on. So give us some insight into that and sort of what that communication has been like with various teams and how you're staying connected to, uh, you know, some of the different scouts and guys that are, are taking a look at you for potential draft round. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we've had, um, well, I've had, like, the interviews with teams. Um, so, uh, pretty much whenever they, they want to have an interview, then, you know, the scout will call in from whatever team. Um, and then I'll get actually get on the phone, like, later in the week, or we'll choose a day with, with the staff, um, and we'll just go over go over a lot of different stuff. But a lot of the stuff that, uh, you know, they have pretty much asked me are, are more personal questions of, uh, you know, who I am, trying to get to know me as a person. So, um, just trying to stay in contact with them as much as I can. Um, you know, I've talked to the scouts just to kind of see, you know, kind of what the what the process is like and and what should, what what I should be expecting. So um, it's been fun, you know, talking to all the different staffs, talking to all the different coaches, and and just seeing, getting a feel for them and, and see seeing who I most uh, you know like and who I most kind of vibe with. Okay, Xavier. So pretend I'm a team and I'm asking you that same question. Who is Xavier McKinney? What can you tell us about yourself? I want the sales pitch. What are you telling these teams? Yeah. Uh, most of the time, I tell them, you know, I'm a hardworking, hardworking kid. Um, you know, somebody that brings great energy to to whatever room that I that I walk into. Um, I'm a I'm a competitor. Uh, of course, I like I love to win. Um, that's that's you know one of my big ever since I've been a kid. Um, so you know, usually you know that's my sales pitch. Um, but most of the time, I don't really need to kind of give one because you know uh, you know talk to me they kind of already get that sales pitch and they know you know they know that I'm a that I'm a great person so uh, I just try to show that as much as I can hey well there's no doubt you've certainly got the the personality to obviously uh, get you through this and of course like I said the total package um and you've really just shown uh great strides there in your career at Alabama um mm -hmm. so you know I guess what are some things I guess maybe teams that have kind of stood out to you or, or people that you're talking to um you know that that as you're you know, looking forward to this opportunity to be on the big stage, you know, what are some things that have stood out to you about particular teams that you really like or have interest in? Um, I think uh, the biggest thing is how they play. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of teams play uh, differently. Um, their styles are a little different, and especially the way, uh, you know, the offense is evolving and, you know, how they're able to do different things with different people on the field, like with their receivers, with their tight ends, and, and just kind of, getting a feel for how these teams are kind of, uh, you know, trying to match up against it. Um, so I, I would say that's the biggest thing um, is just, you know, getting a feel for how teams play, how they play on defense and and kind of what they like uh, to see and, and safeties in particular since I play safety. Um, so it's, it's been interesting. Um, I, I've definitely learned a lot of different stuff. 
uh, just with all the new defenses because a lot of times they're installing their defense to me and I kind of have to uh, remember it and, and uh, you know, give it back to them when they ask. So uh, it's been it's been challenging at times, but it's definitely been fun. Yeah, so that kind of leads me to my next question. How has Alabama and sort of what you've learned there really prepared you for that opportunity? And obviously, like you said, for teams to kind of install their their um, game plan to go up against you. Yeah, so at Bama, um, you know, our defense, you know, with Coach Saban, you know, it's really complex. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that we do um, uh, is what the NFL pretty much does. If not, it's just kind of a little bit simpler than – than, than what it was at Bama. So um, I think being playing there uh, has helped me a lot uh, now that I'm in this situation uh, because a lot of the stuff that, that the NFL is pretty much teaching me, um, like we'll go over it and I'll be like, okay, we ran that at Bama. So um, it's, it's pretty easy at times uh, just because a lot of the stuff that they run is stuff that, we, that I've already run at school. Um, but of course, it's a little bit more complex there. Uh, so that, that makes it a, lot, a whole lot simpler for me and a whole lot easier. Yeah, so as you get ready to make this transition, I got to ask you, what are you going to miss most about uh, being in Tuscaloosa and being um, as part of the Crimson Tide? Yeah, I would say my team, uh, you know, when I, when I finally kind of declared, um, you know, I was a still able to watch them work out and, and do all the, the, all the conditioning stuff that they do. Um, and, you know, I was kind of missing that because uh, a lot of those guys that are still there, um, you know, I created, you know, a lot of relationships, strong relationships with those guys. So um, I would say the biggest thing would be my teammates uh, just because we've been through a lot. You know, we, we've had time. We've had our ups and we've had our downs. Um, you know, we, we competed a lot in practice. Uh, so I would say that would probably be the most thing I miss about being there. OK, so what's the what's your favorite restaurant that you're going to miss most in Tuscaloosa? Uh, it wasn't a lot of good places to eat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. so, uh, but um, I'll probably say Taco Mama. Um, okay. It a, yeah, it was it was a little taco little taco spot um uh, down there. So I'll probably say that's the best place for me. Um, especially coming from Atlanta and then you yes. know going there, it wasn't it wasn't a whole bunch of stuff down there. But I would I would say that would be my number one spot. Yeah, that's hard. it's it's definitely hard to compare, but. I know you guys uh, have a great nutrition program there at Alabama and they feed you well. So I'm sure you got yeah. to, to enjoy that. And it's hard to, hard to beat that for sure. Now, you know, so sure. uh, when you talk about obviously missing the players and whatnot, who have you been talking to like during this process, some of the former guys, maybe other draft prospects, the guys are kind of getting ready like you that you've really kind of stayed close with and had a lot of communication with. Yeah. So for me, um, I actually try to stay in contact with, uh, you know, all of my teammates as much as I can. Uh, most of the time, I'm just kind of like checking up on them, see how they're doing and, and making sure that they're all right and making sure they're straight. Um, but, you know, I've, I've talked to pretty much everybody. I've talked to Jedrick. Um, you know, I've talked to Jared. I've talked to Shy. I've talked to Trey. Uh, I've talked to uh, uh, T. Lou. Uh, I've talked to Tua. I've, talked to, I've pretty much talked to everybody. So, um, and most of our conversations, uh, not necessarily about football, um, not necessarily about the draft. Uh, we kind of just, you know, have, you know, it's kind of just we talking about anything pretty much. Uh, you know, I've, I've created that that strong relationship and bond with those guys that, you know, we don't always have to talk about football. So, um, but when we do, um, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty exciting for us. Uh, just kind of getting ready for the moment and getting ready for the day. Um, and of course, you know, we, we're we're training right now, so we talk about, you know, kind of what we do during training, and and we try to uh, give each other tips and 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 see if we can kind of switch up anything if we, if we need to. But uh, other than that, that's, those are pretty much been the conversations. Have you gotten any good advice from anybody that you've been able to use? Um, from my teammates? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I'm sure I have, um, I can't think of anything right now, uh, but I'm, I'm sure I have, we kind of, we try to exchange, you know, a lot of advice for each other, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of times we're just kind of like playing around, goofing around. So, yeah. Um, and, and so obviously you have a lot of guys that you still talk to as well that are still on the football team and mm -hmm. nobody could ever have envisioned this happening. And obviously we're right in the, the middle of, uh, you know, spring football, a day would have been coming up next week. And now yeah. here we are trying to figure out a football, when, when is football going to even happen? So yeah. In talking to some of your teammates, you know, what do you think some of the biggest challenges are for those guys, especially the, the maybe the newer guys coming in and the ones that are 
really trying to kind of compete and be able to sort of show what they're all about when they don't have this opportunity in spring to do so now? Yeah, it's it's tough. Um, you know, I, I've always tried to tell, you know, the younger guys, uh, it always starts uh, like competing for that spot. It always starts the day you get there. So um, that, that includes you know, workouts, uh, that includes running, that includes school, going to class on time, um, you know, not getting, we call it the point system, not getting any points. Um, so I always try to make sure that I, you know, try to tell them that just because that's kind of how, you know, when I came in, that's how I was. Um, because, you know, when times like this does happen, um, of course, we, we never know when things like this might happen. But when it does happen, uh, you can say, you know, you've worked hard enough to where you might not need um, you know, the, the, the spring practices, you might not need the camp practices to already have a spot. So um, it is pretty tough, though, uh, just because for the guys that are like brand new, like the freshman freshmen, um, you know, it's tough for them to try to, you know, get the playbook down and, and get a feel for the game, the college game, because, of course, it's a different game at a different level. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for those guys, you know, they're they're, uh, you know, trying as much as they can to, to get on the iPad and study film and and Alabama, like the program, the staff have pretty much put them in, in good spots and good situations to where they can access the film and they can't study. It's just on them whether or not they're going to do it or not. And I know they, they've also gotten them the Apple Watches. So hopefully the expectation yeah. is that they're kind of keeping track of them on the workouts and stuff too, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I saw that before. Um, actually, before I left, um, I thought it was pretty crazy because I'm like, I want an Apple Watch because I didn't have an Apple Watch. So uh -huh. uh, I thought that was pretty cool that they got one. But uh, like, like I said, a little stuff like that, you know, the the, the staff, uh, the coaches and stuff, they have them prepared and, and making sure that they stay on the right track. Yeah, no doubt. And and as we kind of wrap things up, I wanted to ask you, have you talked to any, um, you know, of, of your former coaches or anybody that kind of can shed some light on sort of what they're having to deal with from a coaching standpoint during all of this? Yeah, I actually, uh, I talked to uh, Coach Scott and Coach Kelly yesterday, my two uh, position coaches, um, and I kind of just sent them a text out, just kind of see how they were doing and stuff. And, you know, they were, I was pretty much asking them how, how the process was going for them and kind of what they had to do. Um, and they were just telling me, uh, you know, a lot of their stuff, they're doing it on the Zoom calls. Uh, pretty much that's what everybody's doing is the Zoom calls. So, um, they've been telling me, you know, they they have their special teams meeting, their defensive meeting, um, and then the offensive meeting. So uh, they said it's been pretty hectic, though. It's kind of kind of stressful, but uh, you know, they they said they got to do what they got to do. So um, it is what it is. So they just got to keep going and keep keep getting through it. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, what are your plans for the draft as it is rapidly approaching? I guess in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um. My, well, my plans are just to have uh, like a little gathering at my house. Um, nothing too big, uh, you know, trying, like I said, trying to keep it as safe as possible. Um, I haven't, I'm not sure how I want to, how I want the setup to look yet, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure that out now. Uh, that's kind of why I'm driving. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. Um, but for the most part, it'll be at my house. That's awesome. Now guys, just so you know, he's not driving right now. He's playing it safe, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Hanging in the car, but you're going to go out and kind of get some ideas and, I guess driving might help, you know, uh, with the thoughts and stuff, huh? For sure. For sure. Well, and I know it's been a stressful time for you. And, and my last question for you is, uh, you know, as, as you think about this process and everything you've been through, and again, this looks nothing I'm sure like you ever imagined um, as it is for, for all the guys uh, getting ready for the draft. But, you know, what, what are you looking forward to most as you're getting ready to embark on this next chapter and something I'm sure you've dreamed of uh, since you were since you were young, yeah, just uh, you know, it's it's pretty surreal for me right now. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's kicked in as much as it will uh, when when the draft gets here and I actually you know get drafted. Um, but you know the what I'm looking forward to the most is just competing with the guys that that are are the best in the world. Um, so uh, I would say that's that's the that's like the main thing for me. Uh, that's pretty exciting and uh, that I'm pretty much ready for. Is there somebody that you look up to that you're really excited to maybe meet or get to play with? Uh, no, um, you know, there's a lot of great ones out there, um, and there's a lot of ones that I like. Uh, but for me, you know, if I go against them or, or if I'm competing against them, I want to I want to beat them out. So um, that's you know, I, I don't really have anybody that I'm kind of looking up to. No. 
All right. Well, we appreciate, and of course, we appreciate all your insight, Xavier, and wishing you all the best. It's going to be exciting times, and definitely let us know if you uh, come up with something when you when you get ready for your your um, draft process, and uh, you know it, it's going to be exciting. And we'll be cheering you on from here. And um, thanks again for uh, joining us. For sure. Thank you for having me.